fellow power pickers. Today we talk about guitar picks and alternate picking. You will find out which guitar pick is the right for your specific alternate picking level. Stay tuned. a lot of hours into alternate picking there will be the time where you don't see a lot of progress and at that level self-doubt will occur and that's always where you begin to find some excuses one of the most popular excuses is maybe I'm not playing the right pick so in this video I try to share some points where you can see how to choose the right pick for your specific alternate picking level. Factor number one, the string gauge. The thicker a string, the more resistant it is. That means you always want to have the opposite in thickness for the pick. I give you an example. Let's say this is the string and we have a pick. So if you have a very thin pick like this Ernie ball here, and you have a very thin string, then you push down the string, the string flexes down and the pick is bending. And uh, then somewhere when the pressure is high enough, the string pops up, flexes and uh, the pick will bend back. The problem with that is that you will end up playing very sloppy because you have to make big movements. For example, if we have a, a, a very light string, but a thicker pick, then the pick doesn't bend, only the string is bending, and then it flops up. So we will end up playing more accurate. As an opposite, if you have a very hard string, and you have a very hard pick, then you have to push really hard to go through the string, and uh, you will, that requires a lot of movement. But if you have a light pick and a hard string, then the string is not flexing down because the pick is bending and popping through the string. So that will be easier. I will show you that as an example on an electric guitar with very thin strings and on an acoustic guitar with very thick strings. So here is what happens if I'm using a very thin pick on very thin strings. I have to make big movements and that makes me playing very sloppy. If I'm using a very thick pick on uh, thin strings, then this will happen. That gives me a lot more control. If I'm using a thick pick on very thick strings, like on this acoustic guitar, it will sound like this. Almost no sound and I, will, I have to push very hard. But if I'm using a very thin pick on thicker strings, then this will happen. It's a lot easier to play. Factor number two, the angle of the neck, or let's say the angle of the strings to the pick. It does matter how you hold your guitar. So if you are sitting in a very relaxed position like this one, your neck will be parallel to the ground and that gives you a big angle to your pick. That allows you to use picks which have a very rounded edge, for example like this Dunlop pick over here and it will sound like this. Very good. But let's say we change the position to a classical position and we are using the same rounded pick. You will have a sharper angle to the strings and that will sound like this. Not as good. Hear that? So uh, for an angle like this you will need a lot more sharpness on the pick and then you have a good tone again. More pointy. Factor number 
number three, the angle of the picking hand. So also that angle matters and it's almost the same impact than the neck angle or the string angle to the pick. Means uh, if you don't have a big angle here then you can use rounded picks and it will sound good. <laughs> But for example, if you're playing like Michael Angelo Bedio and you have an angle like this, then this will happen. Doesn't work anymore. So if you're playing like this, then you need to have a sharper pick again. Marty Friedman is playing like this, so I guess he will use sharp picks as well. Factor number four, the material of the pick. Also the material matters because every material will sound different. So what I have here is the same pick of the same brand, it's the Big Stubby from Dunlop, in two millimeters of thickness. The purple one is hard plastic, and this one is nylon. So sorry that I don't have a metal or a glass pick here, but uh, I guess that, that you will know what happens. But I try to, to make it audible for you. First I'm using the hard plastic one. And this is the nylon one. I think there's a big difference. So for example, this hard plastic one is a lot more harsh. So for me, this one feels smoother, but uh, it doesn't sound too good. But yeah, that's something very personal. Factor number five, the grip. And the grip is something which is very special because for me it doesn't matter. Maybe it's different for you, but I can get used to every kind of grip. Even if PIX doesn't even have any grip because they're glossy like this one, for me it works. So that's the pick I began with. And then I uh, hopped over to a raw material like this one. Worked also pretty good for me. A little bit later I played the big stubby with this uh, hole for the thumb, so it's very cool to hold it like this. It's very good. I don't know if you can see that. So uh, that gives you a better grip, but for example this pick slipped over like this when I played. So it wasn't perfect for a long time. And uh, yeah, there are some picks like the Chess Free pick which have uh, that, that letters or that max grip on it. So that's for example something I don't like because it hurts my fingers. But yeah, it's different for everyone. Ivaness has some picks which are yeah, really polishing your fingers. So uh, that's something very personal and there's one rule. If a pick glides away from your fingers, then maybe you need a different grip. Factor number six, your skill level. And that's a factor which matters most. Because, for example, if you're new to alternate picking, you don't have that much control in your right hand or in your picking hand. And there are a lot of challenges in alternate picking. So you want to keep it simple and choose a pick which is easier to play. And that's always a hard pick with a rounded edge. Because uh, then it's not flexible, only the string is flexible. And the rounded edge makes you gliding through the strings a little bit better. So it doesn't matter how deep you dive into the strings, your picking depth. That's something you learn and control later on in your skill level, but in the beginning you will use a rounded edge hard pick. That gives you a lot of speed in the beginning and easy challenges. Later on, when uh, 
you are a little bit further in your progress, you maybe want to change to a thicker pick, a thick pick with a sharp edge, like the big stubby, for example. It's a very cool pick, and that's where you begin to find out how you can control the picking depth, and it gives you a sharper and more accurate sound. <laughs> but very hard to control in the beginning. So maybe that's something you, you want to use after half a year or later on. And finally, you need to find a pick uh, which is very comfortable for you. It could be a little bit thinner, so I am using, for example, the Dunlop Chess Free XL pick. I like the XL more than this little one because I have big thumbs, so I like bigger picks. It has a very sharp edge, but it is thin. It is 1.14 mm thin, and uh, that's very thin for alternate picking technique. And this pick feels most comfortable for me, and it gives me enough accuracy and sharpness, so I can control it very good. <laughs> I like it, I love it, I like the sound, and yeah, the rest you need to find out for yourself. Well that's it, I hope that this video helped you to find and choose the right pick for your picking technique. Please take note that these are all personal preferences, and maybe someone else is thinking different. But let me give you one last tip, you can't choose the right pick in 5 minutes. Please. Play each pick at least for one month to see if it's best for you. And then you can compare the sound, because some picks maybe feel weird, because you need to improve your technique to be able to play them. So stick with the same pick for a long period of time to see if it's the right one for you. Subscribe to my channel if you want to hear more alternate picking stuff, and click the bell to not miss them. Keep on shredding.